There are so many beautiful corals in here. The value of what we, we lost is so much. I, you know, I cannot value certain coral and really, uh, I'd rather do something I like every day, you know. So until now, 15 years, but I, every time I go to the store, I'm still enjoying it, every moment of it, so. Hey Reef Builders, before we get into today's video, I wanted to make a bit of an announcement. Evie Anderson will be our new field reporter. Evie has been keeping aquariums since she was eight years old. She managed a franchise when she was 20 and owned and operated her very own local fish store in Kansas City for 10 years. Unfortunately, her first assignment isn't the most fun. What happens when a local fish store has to recover from disaster, in this case, a fire? Let's head over to FJW Aquarium in Houston, Texas. Hi Dennis, it's so good to see you. I wanted to come out here on behalf of Reef Builders to come and show the community right now the struggle that's going on with the recent events that have happened in your store. Everybody, this is Dennis with FJW Hi. here in Houston, Texas. So this is the door when the fire happened. The fire department was cut out the door, the front door. And then they cut through this. So let's come in. Okay, come on in. Wow. Yep, that's what happened. Oh my goodness. Yes. So did this happen in the night? Really yeah, early in the morning? Yeah, it, it happened at uh, around 8.30, 9 o'clock at night after we left the store. Mm -hmm. We ran out here and it was like 20 fire truck around us. Oh my goodness. And um, the fire crew still in the shop when, mm. when it happened. So it's very quick. We still have power and water everywhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we have two big tanks, Red Sea tank, big sections right here. Right. A thousand and then 750. Yeah, I remember seeing Yeah, them. the big one yeah. back there. And it start from, I think the 750 right here. And it's fire up. So all the light was out here too. So it's hard for us to see. Was there a lot of loss that went along um, with it? We technically lost about 75 to 80% of the livestock. Oh my gosh. Um, dry good, we got damage too, but not as much as uh, livestock. And the main damage because the smoke damage, yeah. not because the fire. You yeah. Know what I mean? But uh, the smoke damage take all the livestock out, mm -hmm. and the coral was suffering too. So we have to either drain it and take it out. Yeah, the, the smoke just engulfs yeah. everything. There were so many beautiful corals in here last yeah. time I was here. Just stunning. Yeah, we, main, we mainly have coral shop, and then fish we carry too, but not as much mm -hmm. as coral. Yeah. yeah, your corals were yeah. definitely top tier. My gosh. We have to remove everything for the next couple of days after the fire. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing is right now we still have to wait for the insurance to basically come in and fix it. And until now, I don't even know when they're going to actually go through it. We don't know what the direction is, so we don't want to start it. Because if I re clean, clean up and, and if they want me to move out of the building so they can fix it, then I have to start it over. Okay. Right. So we, we want to make sure they say, okay, go ahead and clean it up or go ahead and, and do something and then we will do it. So FJW, uh, we started in 2009. So it's about 14, 15 years now. The main idea from FJW is my, the first letter of my three kids. Francis, Jacqueline, and Williams. That's what FJW for. Uh, but we make it up as fish just wonderful, but the main idea of FJW is my kid. I really, uh, I'd rather do something I like every day, you know. So until now, 15 years, but I, every time I go to the store, I'm still enjoying it, every moment of it, so. Following all of the insurance and the disaster of everything that happened, are you wanting to stay in this location? Or are you thinking about? My goal is, probably build back where it, is, where it is right now. Do you have a lot of customers that are checking in with you? 
to yeah. see the status of everything. Yeah, we. Uh, that's what I. That's probably one of the most um, enjoy for me after the fire because uh, we have a lot of phone call from supply, a lot of phone call from customer, customer check it in with me. So, so at least we throughout the suffering time, we we have a lot of customer reach out and helping me and, and try to get a hold of me. My goal when we start back, we can uh, probably go through the store, the tank and, and, and retest them again because the mine fire was in the back of the building. The front is fine. It, beside the smoke damage, uh, all the tanks seem fine because we come in very fast after the fire, you know what I mean? So the, the fire department was doing a very good job to take it down. For the insurance, what they, they cover for us is the uh, dry goods. Uh, livestock, we don't have insurance. And the, the, dry, the livestock is the most damaged for, for us because 80-90% of the, the coral was gone because of the heat issue. Uh, all the fish was didn't make through it. Actually, when I came here, they still all alive. And an hour after that, fish all floated because the smoke in the air. And then they took out the oxygen out of it, so the fish was just didn't make it because of the smoke. So you're known throughout this area very well for your high-end pieces and the exquisite corals that you bring in. What is going on with that? What is the loss like for that since it's around 80 percent? Yeah, we, we've been collecting the coral for the last 14, 15 years. Um, there, there's some showpiece and some coral. It cannot be replaced. The value of what we, we lost is so much, I you know, I cannot value certain coal. Mm -hmm. uh, for mainly coal we have, we can see easy, easy 300,000 on, on, wow. on the coral at least. And that one, just as general coal we yeah. have in the That's shop. That's what you can apply value to. That's not what right. you guys personally right. grew. That's not what you've had yeah, for some, many some years. Some coal we, we, we cannot put the, 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 the number on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and then, and to me, there's some piece I, I cannot even fight it again, you know, yeah. so that's some, some loss we cannot even. I don't think this fire will make me weaker. I think it's make me even stronger. Um, and after three months, we been up. I think, actually, I think as we charging me, um, make me more motivated to go back to work. This is a second change for me to open FJW. And I think I have to, I decide, we decide to do something. Um, even more for, for the, the, the fish hobby, you know. I really look forward to getting this out there to the reef builders community so that way there's a lot more people that understand the depth of what has happened in this store and then how special this store is for Texas, the Houston community, because so many people come from all over and they would come to see your animals because they were all so amazing and the vibrancy that was going on in here. So we want to make sure that we have absolutely the most information going out there, get you guys maybe some more additional help, bring some awareness for the store and the struggle going through it and building you back up again. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, Rebuilder and thank you you for personal coming in. Of and, um, put out a story for us and yes. I really appreciate that. Yes. I want to thank Dennis so much for showing everybody around the shop. It's so difficult to see your life's work go up in flames like that, but it sounds like he's going to recover. And if you'd like to help in the recovery efforts, as you heard in the video, insurance is not covering livestock, which amounted to a decent chunk of change. Please visit the link in the description if you'd like to help out. Also, if you get a chance in the comment section, please welcome Evie to the Reef Builders video team. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and we'll see you in the next one.